Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video. I'm your host Chris from CDB and today we are going to do a shaving video using Zingari Man, the Nomad, which has a really beautiful scent, I must tell you. Um, oh, the notes on the label here, sweet bay, lime, and rum. This is not, if you're thinking bay rum, like spicy, clovey, this is not it. This is sweet. It's just a beautiful scent. It's really hard to describe. I think I get more of the the lime, you know, certainly some of that rum. Scent strength is about four to four and a half, slightly under medium uh, out of the tub. Uh, the cost on this, $21. Um, and I'll put the cost chart up there, the IMCDB cost chart. $21 for five ounces, or that is $4.20 uh, an ounce. So it's starting to get down on the scale and then the pricey where we raise our eyebrow sort of price, but uh, still not at the extreme high end of five plus dollars per ounce. Really beautiful scent though, I gotta tell you. We're gonna be using today the uh, Rockwell 6C. This is in gunmetal. It's a really handsome razor. Um, I've used this a number of times, or a couple of times I should say, in the head-to-head -head shaves. Uh, that you saw, and it was really a good performer. Uh, I have the five plate. The blade is Rapira uh, Platinum, and it comes in a wrapper like that. And we're gonna use our Ariana and Evans synthetic brush. Let's go ahead and get that wet and start loading. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to this shave. I hope everyone is doing well. It is uh, Sunday morning, and I uh, hope everybody's, you know, managing uh, being cooped up as as well as they possibly can. By the way, I'm loading this upside down. I do not like to get water um, in soaps, as you know. It's just a thing that I, I don't care for. And uh, someone asked me the other day, what do I do with the soap that's left over in here? I take a damp cloth and I wipe the container out after I'm finished. I do think that loading from the container, and by the way, this is a nice container, five ounces. You got room to load in there. I like the label. Um, let me show you the ingredients real quick on the soap right there while I'm loading because I forgot to mention that. This is, I believe it is the Sago base from Singari Man. Yeah, it says it on the label, so we'll go with that. Um, so it's supposed to be quite good. I don't doubt that it is. You know me, I don't get hung up on, I'm not a base chaser. You know, somebody who's, I must have the latest base, otherwise my shave will be, you know, subpar. I'm sure this is gonna work well. I also had the vegan formula, um, one of the, I guess, earlier ones, I think. It worked tremendous. Whether this one will, will be much, much better, I don't know. I got a great shave out of the last one, so for my money, if I get a great shave, I'm generally happy, you know. I don't get too hung up on chasing the latest artisan um, bases. It's not that important to me. It may be to you, and so I do not, um, Folks who really are into that, that's cool. But for me, for example, if if this soap, oh, beautiful, beautiful scent. I really wish I could describe the way this soap comes together in terms of scent. It's really nice. It is not, again, you see bay, you see sweet bay and rum on here and you start thinking, you know, bay rum, old school. This is not it. This is much sweeter. It's not too sweet. It's quite beautiful, I think. But anyway, I forgot where I left off there. Um, in terms of uh, soap bases, you know, there are definitely improvements. I don't think there's any, there's any any doubt. But few of them, there are, few of them are what I would call revolutionary. Like, if you had Barrister Man's last formula to this formula, you're going to see an improvement. I don't doubt that, but probably not to the degree where you're gonna throw out all your other old formula soaps, you know? So I think that's what I was getting to in this soap. If I had this soap scent in the last base, I wouldn't throw it out just to get this one, you know? That's always my perspective. Boy, it's nice though. It smells nice, it feels good. You can feel um, just the way a soap sits on the face. I can, like when it just feels, feels nice. Just feels really nice to me, so we're looking forward to using Zingari Man today. And uh, 
shout out to everyone who's <laughs> again out there sort of cooped up at home. That's nice. Very nice. Residual slickness is there. It was also there on the other soap that I tried from Zagari Men that isn't Sago though, by the way. So let's, you know, I try to keep things in perspective. My role as I see it is to, you know, use the things and, and tell you how they're going from my perspective. And uh, I also like to, you know, I'm an, ad I'm an advocate for budget products, obviously, of which this is not. Um, but also I think you need to recognize that sometimes you do get more, you know, for your money when you pay a little more, but that is not always the rule. I can tell you that for a fact. Sometimes you don't. So you have to be the judge. And if you find a soap, and by the way, if I happen to nick myself right there, I'm not going to count it because that is sort of a ingrown. So we're not going to count that as a weeper if we happen to go over. I went over that yesterday and cut it. I didn't know it was there at the time. But anyhow, you really have to make your own decisions when it comes to the type of ingredients that you want and the cost that you're going to pay. My cost um, scale applies to me and... Honestly, over a certain level, you know, the ingredients don't matter that much to me. I, there's sort of a point of diminishing returns when it comes to shaving soaps where, you know, a little bit of that or this is, it just doesn't make a lot of difference for me personally in terms of what I can feel during the shave and really what I can feel after the shave. I just don't notice it, but... This is quite nice. You see, there's no lather there, but the razor's just gliding along. I like this gunmetal. This is really good value, the Rockwell 6C. Terrific value. I got this for, I think, $44 on eBay. I really like this five plate. I like plates. The minimum is three, three to six are the plates I like with this razor. And that is a really good, um, that was a really good pass. I, the scent, I, I'm really not doing it justice in terms of telling you what it smells like. I, I can't read the description from Zingari Man. It, it, it is sweet. I can tell you that. And it's one of the better, um, scents that has bay in it from my standpoint, for my personal taste. I think it's really, really nice. Um, and the soap quality, it is exactly as I expected. You know, based on my first use, the I used, I don't remember the name of the soap now, but I used uh, one of the Z Zingari, I think it was uh, vegan or vegetable based. Might not have been full on vegan, I don't remember. But I had a good run with it. And so I didn't expect anything different with this one. This is a, obviously a quality product and so, you know, I like it. And as you can see here, the Ariane and Evans brush, just terrific painter. You can paint this right on, with no problem. The soap spreads really nice. I don't need a, you know, I'm not gonna lather for 20 minutes here and, you know, I just don't need to do it. This right here is more than adequate for me and probably for most people. But folks really enjoy, you know, lathering because it is relaxing. Wow. This smells great, I must tell you. I wish I could, um, I wish I had something to compare it with in terms of scent, because it's a really nice, fresh, um, you got the lime going. It's an unusual combination in that if you just read the notes, I don't think that you would, um, I don't think if you just read the notes, you would have in your mind what this smells like. And I think, a lot of times that is the case with artisan offerings. Like they list the notes or they list the way they think it smells. And when you get it, it doesn't smell anything like that. <laughs> but this one is, is really nice and I'm enjoying it. It's definitely a keeper for me. It's, it's quite good. Good performance. Really, really nice. We're gonna do a giveaway announcement today. So stay tuned for that. All right, man, really good slickness. Um, 
And as that's coming off, you can't you can't tell in this light, but it's quite as I'm scraping it off, and it's collecting on the six C, or it's quite milky and uh, yogurty, which is beautiful. And this soap uh, meets and or exceeds my expectations. So once again, I would say, um, as I said in the first time I tried Zingari, if you haven't tried it, it's definitely worth trying. You know, find yourself a scent that you like and uh, give it a go. Good quality, beautiful scent. Um, the first one I used, I think was an uh, aqua or ozone. I don't recall. Can't remember the name of the soap, but it was a beautiful scent also. So I would say good job to Zangari on these scents. This is quite nice, quite pleasant, relaxing. You know, this is not your um, Captain's Choice type bay rum at all. So it's really beautiful, I think. Very nice. Rays are just gliding. I'm mean, having no problems with the Rapira blade. I know some people don't like Rapira blades, but this feels very smooth. For me, very nice. No problems at all. So I really, honestly, couldn't be happier with this soap and shape so far. But, you know, we always have to say so far because we're not finished yet. But so far, beautiful. And it is really, I think, a lot of us need these gray shapes during this time when the world is just its somewhat upside down. Uh, people are hurting and, man, can't work. I want to get some of this soap. Really, really nice quality on this soap. I'm impressed, I must say. So, Heather at uh, Zangori, if you're watching, really nice. Really nice. And, yes, um, the, the main question that I try to answer, you know, when I do these sort of videos is, would I buy another soap of this price from this brand? Yes, I would, even though... You know, when you get over $4 an ounce, it starts to get pricey. It's not super pricey yet, but it's starting to get that way. I would pay it uh, for this because I feel like I'm getting my money's worth, you know. And I'm really enjoying the scent. It's a really fine soap, I must say. So, really digging it. I hope you all have been uh, taking the time now since you're cooped up to watch... Uh, you know, videos, make sure you check out, uh, I mentioned this the other day, or have mentioned it a couple times, Jimmy from uh, New York City did a head shave in the hospital, and uh, man, that's got to be rough. He's, you know, has some health issues, and he's he's in the hospital, and his wife can't visit because of corona. I, I touched on this during the head shave yesterday, but I just, it, it warrants repeating, I think. Um... Make sure you're checking in on one another, your relatives, neighbors, and of course, you know, we're uh, having kind words and uh, good things to say for, for all of us in the community, communicating a lot. And I've been asking the other uh, wet shaving content creators to, you know, talk a little bit about what's COVID-19 or COVID-19 or Corona is doing in the in their part of the world and what life is like. This is a unique time in history, obviously. And so, um, Matteo, a viewer of mine from Italy, he has not had good news to report. Um, it has hit Italy hard and they have suffered mightily. Uh, and it's really, it's really having a lot of um, terrible consequences, lots of deaths and we just uh, hope and pray that you good folks in Italy, you know, remain safe, follow the protocols, um, and hope we'll come out on the other side and everybody will be stronger and and hopefully more wise having dealt with this. This is this type of thing has really never happened at this level. And so I'm hoping we're all having a chance to learn from this. I have learned some things from this, um, you know, as well. And one thing I will say is, you know how folks always uh, used to make make fun of preppers, you know, people who store a lot of things for the apocalyptic scenario? They're not making fun of them now because <laughs> the preppers are in the driver's seat. They have everything they need and everyone else is, is going out to stores and fighting people over toilet paper. I've seen videos on 
social media where people in fist fights over toilet paper. And that is so, for me, that is so disheartening to see people behaving this way. But I've also seen a lot of good in this community, especially. But we're a little bit different than everybody else think. I like to think we're kinder and, you know, more generous. And we've certainly seen that. So those of you who are in this community, whether you be a content creator, a viewer, um, artisan, you know, take a bow. You, you all are doing a great job staying positive. I haven't really seen anyone yet trying to profiteer off of this. Um, like in terms of inside our community. And that is great. Sometimes you'll see that. And so far people are, you know, just doing the right things. And so that is what's really encouraging. You know, the people in our community just doing really, really well and looking out on, looking uh, in on each other and and so forth. And so that is definitely a thing to be uh, happy about. I want to mention one more thing. Shave Cave had mentioned in his video, he did a shaving video, I think Saturday, maybe Friday evening, Saturday morning. And he mentioned, you know, thank me for carrying the hobby. And I just want to say that th that is really, those are really kind words, but I do not take any sort of credit for carrying anything. I'm just one person. Um, to me, Everybody out there who makes these videos, who's a viewer of these videos, who posts Shave of the Days, who spreads the word, you're all carrying this hobby. It is certainly not me. I've done my part, but I'm just a single participant. You know, I do as much as I can. Uh, I, I'm really flattered, you know, read from Shave Cave, but it, it's not me, you know. There are just so many great people out there contributing in every way, artisans, vendors, and so... We're all doing our part and I hope we will all continue. And I hope this positivity that we've had going will, will continue um, because it has been really a great thing for me personally. And I wanna thank all the people who were, you know, I've hung around all these years, even during the times when I wasn't particularly positive and I had rough stuff going on in my life. I mean, you guys carried it, so thank you and read. It's guys like you who are carrying it and bringing new people in and doing things differently. You're not doing the same exact thing that I do and saying the same thing that I say, doing it your own way. You're all doing your part. And so I want to thank each and every one of you and especially, of course, the viewers. Okay, before we get to the post, real quick, giveaway. One blade, core and brush. This was up for giveaway previously, was not claimed. So it's going to be up again for giveaway. Comment below uh, with your name, area of the world in which you live. You don't have to put your city. And uh, we will draw next Saturday. I don't know the date. Let me rinse down. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right. And we are back with the magic made by witches. Man, this was a nice shave. This was, a, I needed it. Woo -hoo. After the week we've all had, I think you've all, <laughs> you've all needed a great shave. You know, all right. Whew, that feels that feels phenomenal. Um, okay, let's talk a bit about what we used. Rockwell, 6C, Play 5. Terrific. Big thumbs up. This is one of the best value razors since you get six different levels of aggression. Absolutely superb. To repair a blade, it worked quite well. No problem whatsoever on Play 5. Uh, I really like this razor, the 6C. Coming to you in $50 or under, it's a really good buy, I think. Ariana and Evan, synthetic, fantastic. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. I love this handle style too. It's a really nice brush, Ariana and Evans. I loved it. And of course, Zingari Man, Nomad. If you've wanted a bay uh, type scent, but you don't like cloves and your typical traditional bay rum, let's smell it again. I can't describe this soap, it's driving me crazy. It's really nice. Sweet. You get the lime. You get the be sweet. Be it's a winner for me. That's all I can say. I really like the soap. Um, and yes, I would buy more Zingari Man at this price. No question about it. That This was a really good, um, good performing soap. Good scent. Good packaging. You know, it hit the, hit the mark in every regard. I'm going to finish off today. 
the Sterling Mountain Man. Not that it smells like this, it's just I wanted to use it. I really like the scent. Sterling has terrific aftershaves. Everything Sterling, Sterling makes offers you great money, or excuse me, great value. <laughs> it offers great money because you don't have to spend as much of your money. This is just a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's based on the clone that I forget every time which one it is. You know what it is. Ah, oh, this was a great shave, I must say. I don't know, I was just impressed with everything, <laughs> including the Sterling Mountain Man. Thanks so much, everybody, for coming back and joining us again. I hope you'll come back soon. Please stay safe. Follow the protocols that have been given out. Let's keep each other safe by doing the right thing. And until next time, I want to remind you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And of course, God bless.